Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. What a wonderful As you can see in today's video, I am doing an ASOS try on haul. Um, I did two separate orders, both quite massive orders. And I did one kind of everyday clothes slash clothes for Kyle and I's trip to Kerry. And then I did another order that was for gym stuff because I was in dire need. So this video is going to be trying on my clips, trying on my clips, trying on clips of the clothes, kind of first impressions of the clothes kind of, and either keep or return. And there is quite a lot being returned. And then I'm gonna do a separate video on styling my new clothes where I'm gonna dress them up, dress them down, give a few different options um, with all my new stuff. And then how I'm gonna kind of incorporate all that new stuff into my wardrobe to see if they are worthwhile purchases like can i style them can i do things with them you know if i can only get one use out of them then is it worth the money that i spent on them i did get 20 percent off sale items and i presume full price items with um asos's discount code they had a further 20 percent off reduced items so the kind of stuff that i probably wouldn't have bought otherwise i wouldn't have ever bought at full price so i didn't really save money because i spent money buying them but some of the stuff I got a pretty good steal on. So yeah, let's just get into trying the clothes on. So the first item is these ASOS um, 4505 color block leggings. I got these in a UK six and they were 24 pound reduced to 19 pound and 20 pence. So they have this weird loop on the leg that I'm not really sure about. Sizing's okay, they're a tad long because I didn't get the petite. I just got the regular. I would say I'm wearing black underwear in them and you can see my underwear slightly through the yellow. I'm going to try them on again and we'll probably insert a clip over here or wherever my clips are um, of trying them on with like cream underwear, I guess. I'm not that impressed with buying stuff that I need to make specific underwear choices to not be able to see my underwear. Like they're gym leggings. You shouldn't really be able to see them through. The colors I'm not super fussed on, to be honest. Um, I've heard really, really good things about ASOS gym leggings, but they didn't have any of like the fun colors. They had like bright orange and bright pink and like all sorts of good colors. And like this khaki and yellow combo, I'm not sure is my favorite. So to be honest, these might be a return, but or currently a maybe, or might not be a maybe by the time I have actually recorded this video. You will know, but I won't know. Then the next item that I have are these ASOS 505 Run Legging shorts with a contrast band on them. So again, they're six and they were 16 pound. This is all without the 20% discount on. These again, I'm extremely unsure of. I bought them because they looked kind of funky, a bit different. And um, I don't have any tan on them in the clip. So like, I don't like how I look without tan in general, but I don't know what my opinion is on these. They're maybe a bit much. Now I did get some tops, which I'll try on later. Um, and I might insert a clip in of me wearing the tops with these. They would be good for running, I think, because I don't like wearing short shorts because I just get self-conscious because I'm running like on the road in public and I just get a bit self-conscious, but they're maybe a bit much. I don't know how much use I'd get out of them. I also think I'm a bit short for wearing um, those mid-length shorts so again quite a maybe and the next item are these asos 505 icon leggings and um, booty short in cotton touch i got these in a uk4 and they were 12 pound and they are the most see-through things i've ever worn now i'm usually a size six i fit this size four maybe they're so see-through because i'm wearing a size four instead of a size six but I did keep the front view and the side view so that you can see, like that you can fully see the outprint of my black underwear. I'm wearing black shorts and you can see my black, black underwear through it. So these are a no-go, they're being returned. The only thing is, is I guess, it could be my fault for wearing shorts that are slightly too short for me, but I just, I don't, it's just not a win for me. I'm not impressed with them at all. Um, no. So the next item is this ASOS 4505 Icon slightly cropped vest top. I actually really like this. 
Again, I got it in the UK six and it's 10 pounds. It's a little see-through. You can see the kind of black and gray sports bra that I'm wearing underneath it, but I think it's really quite complimentary. I like the fit around the neck. I also do like the crop. I wear quite high-waisted gym stuff all the time. It's also not so cropped that like, you would be, even if you weren't wearing super high-waisted stuff, you wouldn't be wearing like a belly top. And yeah, I just think it's really convenient for the gym and going for runs and stuff. So I'm gonna keep it and I like it a lot. Then the next is this ASOS 4505 graphic printed tank. Again, in the UK six and it was 18 pound reduced to 12 pound 50. Um, it's a little bit long for me. I like a kind of shorter one. I like the scooped in neck, neck, scooped in back. And I also like the print. I don't really have much funky gym stuff, running stuff, considering I run like minimum three times a week, sometimes more, and I go to the gym. I don't really have fun gym stuff. I never really feel like that good about my gym clothes. It's always very boring. So I'm liking this top just to kind of have something a bit more funky, especially if you're doing something like Kyle and I, I imagine, will do some active stuff when we're away on holiday. So I'm like, I quite like that I can wear like a fun top and not just be wearing like either a GAA shirt or like just a boring plain top. So this is a win for me as well. Then the next is this Puma logo tank in black. It's in an extra small and it was 18 pound reduced to 14 pound. Obviously it's 20% added. And again, with the in at the back straps, I like it. It's a really good length. It's shorter than the ASOS one because the ASOS one was a tad long and I'm not sure how obvious it is, but the Puma is actually silver glitter, which is very fun. I like it a lot. Um, I like tank tops because I get super warm, although I'm not like the biggest fan of my shoulders or arms, but it's super warm when I work out. I like almost always run in like a tank top of some description and this feels like good quality, nice and light, but still good quality. Then the next item that I got was this Nike running tank in black. It's pretty simple. It's an extra small. Again, I got it in a, oh, sorry, an extra small and it was 12 95 I don't know why my brain broke while trying to say that. Yeah, the back sort of has like kind of mesh. Um, so it's pretty plain and I do try not to be like a brand person, but I also have some Nike stuff and it's always very good. Like I have a Nike top, I have a couple of sports bras. I think their stuff is good quality and they always fit nice. So for paying $12.95, I got a further 20% discount on that. I was pretty happy with that and I think it looks pretty cute and I think I'll get a lot of wear out of it. Then I think that is the end of the gym order specifically. So I did get some good stuff. I am going to definitely return those kind of bike short style. That's not what they were sold as, but that's kind of the style of them. I kind of wanted to get in on that trend. I think they maybe suit people who are taller more than they suit me. They're just not a win for me. So they are definitely being returned and the two up in the air at the minute are the contrast shorts with the pink ribbon, the pink waist and the ASOS leggings that are that khaki and yellow. So I haven't really decided how I'm going to do this, but what I'm thinking is that I will, not that I get much interaction, but any comments, let me know down below what you think. Do you think keep them or get rid of them? I'm also going to ask Kyle and my mum and my sister Neve, who will keep her opinions very clear. Thank you, Neve. Um, and then the tops are all wins and definitely being kept. So then moving on to the normal clothes order. The first item is this ASOS design petite crop vest in linen mix in black. Haven't really decided about this. I got it in a UK six and it was eight pound reduced to five pound 60. So again, with another 20% on top, pretty cheap. It's kind of similar to something that I already own. And um, the one that I already own has a higher neck. It's sort of a similar style to the white ASOS gym top that I just tried on. And um, this has very low scoops. It's comfortable. I'm trying to decide whether or not it's worth, because I'm going to be sending stuff back anyway. I'm like, well, yeah, like four pound or 4.50 or whatever it was after the 20% is still four pound or 4.50. So it might go back. I'm sort of 50-50 because it's actually pretty like comfortable because it's just a top. It's I think it's nice with like sweatpants or leggings, but I can't imagine I'm gonna get a super lot of use out of this. So I think that this might be a no, but it's currently a maybe. Then the next is these new lock, new lock, 
new look mom jeans in a crew so kind of like a creamy white color they're actually the i think it's either the tori t-o-r-i or tony t-o-n-i jeans from new look which i have their original mom jeans and um, these are a bit see-through again i should have filmed a clip of me wearing like cream or white underwear and inserted it because obviously i'm wearing black underwear i'm still a bit if i didn't i have wanted white or cream jeans for so 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 long so if i didn't want them so badly um also sorry they were 25 pound 26 pounds sorry reduced to 1945 so if i hadn't wanted them for so long and if they hadn't have only cost me like 18 19 pound i would be so so about these just because i'm like jeans you can see my underwear through they're supposed to be jean material like that's weird but i really quite like them i think they're pretty cool i like the high waist and um, they're very comfortable they're a very comfortable material they're a tad on the long side and um, although still a thumbs up from me yeah they're a tad on the long side so i can roll them and i actually really like them rolled i think they're pretty cool and they will definitely get a lot of use out of them i'm pretty pleased with those then the next is these misguided mom jeans in blush again they are a uk6 and they were 25 pound reduced to 22 pound 50 with the further 20 percent added on top they do look kind of similar to the cream ones in this lighting but i swear they are like a pinky blush and the other ones are creamy white they're really not the same color again these came with the cuffing that you can see in the clip that they were like folded once they're not stitched like that i can unroll them which makes them so so long um and i really like the fit of these they're actually a bit big for um a uk6 and then you can see that i've rolled them up once again and i like how they sit there a lot more a lot of my jeans i know it's not the worst problem to have but a lot of my jeans are too big on my waist now so it's nice to get some jeans to fit although you can see that these are a little large next item is these asos design petite wide leg shell trouser in bright yellow in a uk6 again and they were 30 pound reduced to 12 pound 15. you can see my underwear very clearly in this i haven't censored this out because i feel like the label is doing some censoring for me and in the shorts that i censored you can see my actual bum this you can just see my underwear um, I actually did want to keep that in because you might think why is she showing clips that you know her trousers are see-through in I did that deliberately because I wanted to show people if stuff was see-through or not like I wanted it to be an honest portrayal so again there will be another clip of me not wearing black underwear with these because at the minute as I record this on as I as recording me as recording this but editing me will know these are such a maybe because I think they're pretty cool they're the weirdest material ever Originally I bought them thinking they were like trouser material. Then I looked at the clip again, not the clip, the website again. And I was like, oh, these are like suit trouser material, but actually they're like paper material, tissue paper material, which is pretty weird, but like they're fun. I think I could wear them like with trainers and a top and I would like it. Or I also think I could wear them on like a night out and I would like it. But as I said, editing me will know whether these can be worn with cream underwear because if they can still be worn with cream, if they can be worn with cream underwear and you can see my underwear, then they're just a no, they're away. So the next item is these ASOS Design 90s Check Kick Flare trousers in shell fabric. Again, they're sort of like that papery material. And again, these are UK6 and they were £32 reduced to £10.20. And I think these are so cool. Have a weird little, it's not a pocket, it's just like a loop of material. I'm not sure why. Not 100% sure how I would style these. I imagine with my Puma Cali and just then like a t shirt or a top. It was a coward, you could get a bando with it, but I was like, I don't need that. I'm not going to wear that. So these I think are pretty cool and I like them a lot. So the next is these new look cuffed joggers um, in pale pink just a pair of sweats. I don't know why no one jogs in these. I got these in the UK six and they were 15.99 reduced to 12.75. So not super cheap, but I mentioned in like maybe my Primark video or one of my videos that I didn't own a lot of like comfy clothes or like sweats or sweaters. And then um, now I only want to own and wear comfy clothes and sweats and sweaters. So I've done like a full 180 on that or 360. These are, again, the tiniest bit see-through, but again, I'm wearing black underwear, but still, like, sweat material, you shouldn't be able to see my underwear through. 
and um, they're also a bit big they're slightly less like complimentary than the other ones there but they're so 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 comfy and like i'm not really gonna leave my house wearing sweats anyway so i'm pretty happy with them because the pink is cute too then the next item is these ASOS Design R Glass. I'm not sure what the R Glass refers to. Is like it's your body shape or the legging shapes. These R Glass leggings with deep waistband in the shade khaki. Um, these are pretty see-through as well. Again, I'm wearing black underwear, but like a dark green shouldn't have a black throat. Sh a dark green shouldn't have black show through so clearly. Again, I got these in the UK six, and they were ten pound reduced to seven pound. But they're pretty see-through they don't really do me any favors like they're not supportive and um, i think these will be returned i like the super thick waistband at the top because it kind of like maybe that's what it is about the hourglass that it kind of like cinches you in a bit um, and they're very comfy but they're just not flattering they sit funny around like the crotch area they don't provide any support to your bum so the next item is this under armor training mid impact logo bra in white again Without tan on, nothing really looks that great. Um, it seems somewhat supportive. I thought Under Armour would be like really, really good. I got this in, this in a small um, and it was 26 pound reduced to 17 pound 65. And I will admit the brand is what made me buy this. I don't think it's a particularly pretty sports bra, but I figured Under Armour was like a very good brand. Um, I think maybe an extra small might've done me a bit better in terms of providing a bit more support. Um, Cause this is kind of so, so, I'm quite kind of specific about the sports bras that I run in. So I haven't obviously tried this to run in, but so far I'm kind of so-so, but I think it will be kept because I only have like two or three sports bras that I'm willing to like gym or run in. The rest I'll wear like comfy, so I needed more just to add to my rotation anyway. So the next is this ASOS Design Petite, Petite, oversized, boxy sweat with stitch detail in stone. And I got this in a UK six and it was 16 pound reduced to 12 pound 80. And you can see my underwear in this just as an idea of how see-through those leggings are. And I'm not sure about this jumper, to be honest. It is very, very boxy. I don't really know how I feel about the kind of rolled up edge. As I'm looking at the clip, I'm kind of thinking, oh, like I kind of do like this, but actually I'm not sure if I do. I don't know that I would ever wear it. The sleeves are quite long. The sleeves are also like very baggy and I just don't think it really does anything for me. I will try this on again and decide whether or not to keep it because I'm very 50-50 on it at the minute. The 12.80 is still 12.80 and even with the discount, it's still over a tenner. And those sweaters that I got from Primark were five pounds. So I think it's a no from me. Then I got this Pull and Bear basic sweat top in pink and it is in an extra small and it was £10.99 which is 7.65 and it's being returned it's just it's too big it's got nothing going on for it it's not complimentary it's just a no from me then i got this puma short sleeve logo t-shirt in white i got this in an i think an extra extra small and it was 15 pound reduced to seven pound this is not white at all it's like a creamy yellowy color you can see what the white is underneath because you can fully see my white sports bra through this t-shirt. Like, what the hell? A, you can see that it's not white because you can see the difference between what that color is and what white is. And B, you can fully see my sports bra through my t-shirt. It's just an absolute no for me. It's too long, it's see-through, it's not complimentary. The sleeves are too short, it's just weird, I don't like it. Then the next item is this ASOS Design Square Neck Puff Sleeve Jumpsuit in Micro Leopard Print. And I bought this in a UK six and it was 45 pound, reduced to 16 pound and five pence. And this at the minute is still currently a maybe. I think the tight sleeves to the balloon sleeve, the tight sleeve is very long. There's a lot of tight sleeve. I'm also wearing a bra with it, which probably isn't the best because I've had to kind of like try to pull it so that you can't see my bra, but I obviously am still wearing a bra in it. I haven't decided really. I do try not to let this sway me, but I am going like, pardon me, I am going like 45 pound. Like, you know, I saved like over 30 quid on this. Like I wouldn't even have paid 30 quid to begin with and I saved 30 quid, but I need to just think, I do think that this would look quite nice with a pair of Hades to be honest. And it would be a nice like, party outfit or going out for dinner outfit especially like I'm cold all the time and comfort's kind of a main priority. So the fact that it has sleeves and trousers, it's 
kind of a wind for me. You can also hear my neighbors talking outside, which I'm pretty sure means that they can hear me also, which is great. I was talking about what they like I don't want to slap it too long. In case they hear me. Anyway, so this next item that I bought is this Bershka Ruched Front Strappy Jumpsuit in white polka dot. I am wearing a black bra underneath this. I apologize, it's a little bit see through. I got this in an extra small and it was $17.99, reduced to £12.55. And I think this is so cute. I think the version is so cute at the front. Um, tiny bit see-through again i'm wearing black brown black underwear under something white so this is kind of my fault again i will try this on with white underwear or cream underwear and if you can still see it then it has to go that's the rule i will only bend backwards so many ways if it doesn't fit with white or cream underwear then it's going but i think the version is really complimentary and it's super super comfortable and i also think i can wear it with like black vans or white trainers or also heels so i like that it's kind of mixed then I got these Design B London exclusive two pack face mask or face coverings rather with adjustable straps in mixed polka dots. So I do have quite a few face masks and I did mention that I had bought some off a girl that I know, which I do really like them, but I had some trouble the other day when I was talking, they kept slipping down. Um, so I wanted ones that were adjustable for um, more for men like a confined space. Like those ones I'm happy to wear if I'm just like, kind of in the shops or maybe you know at my beauticians like my beautician wears full PPE and I wear a mask so it's okay that those are a little bit loose but if I were to be on public transport or in a confined space like I want something that's like cinched to my face so you can see that these have little adjustable straps behind the ears that you can tighten the straps and then they make it like completely flush to your face so I got those in black with little white hearts and then I also got them in kind of like a pale pinky kind of color with um, polka dots. I actually need to just get some completely plain face masks. I actually don't own any, but these I like and I'm going to keep. And I don't think I mentioned how much they were, but I think they were £14.99. And then the final item that I got was I got, I will just double check the actual like naming convention. I got a three pack of bras, which I'm obviously not going to show for obvious reasons. And I got these ASOS Design Filler Bust Recycled 3-Pack Microfiber Triangle Bra. So I'm sorry, my light's in the way. So you can see they're just like all soft material. And I got these in 30 double D. So I have no idea what my bra size is whatsoever because I haven't been measured since like pre-lockdown, like at least January, February. I've lost over a stone since then and I just don't know what size I am. So the cup size seems good. Like I have no bother with it. The back size, I'm, I feel like I'm maybe like a 31 as opposed to a 30. I'm definitely not a 32. So they're so-so um, in the back. I think they, they fit perfectly fine. Sorry, I just need to loosen the shoulder straps slightly to kind of give a little bit of give in the back but like they're not so tight, they're not comfortable and they're, um, because there's material all over, no pattern, no underwire, they are a win for me. So on the items that I'm a maybe on, which if you don't remember, are the polka dot or leopard print rather jumpsuit, the kind of stony creamy jumper, which I think is going to be returned, the yellow trousers, the like kind of tank top thing and the very bright shorts and the ASOS leggings. Please comment down below and let me know whether you think they're worth keeping or not. And apart from that, all of the other items are being returned or kept and stay tuned for the next video where I will show you styling, dressing up and dressing down my new items. So thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.